if you are going to hit your goal and if you're going to punch through your targets, you have got to see differently. You have got to think differently. You are going to have to connect differently. You are going to have to communicate differently. One day, I just decided I'm going to raise my standards. Things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep under, but my body won't decay. Cause my messages are kinda so they put them on display. Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty. I have a sense of urgency. A message for eternity for everyone internally. I had some people burning me, but now they. Do you just want to win? Or are you absolutely committed? Because when you are committed, when you have made the decision that I am going to win. It's no longer a want, it is a must. And when something becomes a must, when you become obsessed with what you've been called to do, you will sacrifice. People that are committed are willing to make the sacrifices. And so ask yourself the question, have you sacrificed everything? Are you paying the price? You gotta pay the price for what you want. Everything in your future comes at a cost. I am acquainted with loss, pain, lack, and famine. I wanna win now, because winning has everything to do with your mentality. It has everything to do with how you talk, how you walk, how you think, how you overcome. Winning is not just a crown or a trophy. It is the process. It is who I am becoming. And that is how we win. If you are going to hit your goal, and if you're going to punch through your targets, you have got to see differently. You have got to think differently. You are going to have to connect differently. You are going to have to communicate differently. One day, I just decided I'm going to raise my standards. Make a decision. Raise your expectations. You got to go to the next level. There's always another level. You've been in this place of misery long enough. It's time to win. There is no other option. Winning is a non-negotiable. It's what I do. And all of a sudden, wham! No longer is it just what you do. It is who you have become. Because there are some people that win, and then there are winners. There are people who win, there are people who lose, and there are people who are winners. This ain't just something I do. It is who I have become. I am a winner. Consider this, that all environments do not breed and nurture a winning spirit. Not everybody grew up in a winning home. Yet, we often witness living examples of greatness springing up out of adversity. Somebody that chooses to defy the odds. Somebody that chooses to be the one in their bloodline that changes everything. One thing I know is that we've all been hit with a measure of adversity at some point in our life. You already know what failure feels like. People that are winners win both inner and outer. And they see it not just as an opportunity, but as a birthright. Winners are obsessed with counsel. Winners are obsessed with accountability. Winning is a habit. Winning is loving. Winning is being moved with compassion because everybody deserves my best. Winning it's wrapped up in the details. That is winning, the mentality. Winning is what I do at home. It's what I do on my job. It's my creative pursuits. It's my social activities. It's what communities I'm connected to. So are you willing to lose sleep? Are you willing to put the work in? Are you fully persuaded? Are you determined? Real winners. These are the people who have a positive self-awareness. They are crystal clear about where they are and where they're looking to go. This is the type of person that's got tunnel vision. They move in the dimension of mindfulness and gratitude. 
when we unpack the architecture of a winning mentality, we're dealing with some money that is hard and dangerous. That's all I'm thinking about. That's all I want. That's all I see. That's all I want to hold in my hand is a win. Winners are gap closers. These are people that every single day they're beating on their craft and they're closing the gap between where they are and where they're supposed to be. I'm supposed to be here. I belong here. Have you counted up the cost? It's going to cost you everything to win. The winning isn't just a behavior, winning is an attitude. Because you can have good behavior and a bad attitude. And so winning is a behavior, winning is an attitude, winning is a way of living. You're going to have to manifest that thing that you see in your head to hold it in your hands. Make it count. What you go through, you will grow through. I know you feel stuck in reverse and you may be tired, you may be broken, you may be hurting. But listen, winning has everything to do with your mentality. I am going to win. I've had enough of the loss. I've had enough of the lack. I want to win now. I want to win. We all know what it's like to lose a job, to lose a family member, to lose money to lose a position. Some of us have even lost our minds at points in our lives. So we are acquainted with loss. Some of us have lost love for someone or lost passion or lost focus. Many of you listening to me know what it's like to lose everything. You have another day where you failed yesterday, where you almost gave up yesterday, when you almost lost your mind, when you almost gave in, when your back was up against the wall. But there is something in all of us, something very inborn, interwoven, something very intrinsic, a distinctive in all of us, a desire to win. What are you made of? What is your DNA? What is your mentality? What are your goals? In this very moment, you have an opportunity. Seize the opportunity. Everybody wants to win. Because winning is not just an exterior thing. How you overcome conflict, how you navigate a room, how you navigate relationships, how you manage your time, how you manage your money, it's not just an end thing. It is not just what I want. It is who I am becoming. That is how we win. Everybody wants to win. It's time to win.